We've been very fortunate over the past seven or so years to have an arrangement with JFY Networks, uh, which is a nonprofit that's based out of Boston. And uh, they sent a consultant in on a weekly basis to provide us with a lot of valuable software, such as the Galileo software, and uh, particularly in the area of mathematics. Um, and uh, the kids enjoy working on the computers. It's something where they're interactive, they don't get bored easily, and we have found it to be a big help in instituting uh, higher MCAS scores. A lot of people buy software and um, you know it winds up sitting on a shelf or in a drawer somewhere. Um, teacher may take it out and try to use it, they get a little frustrated with it, uh, the demands on their time are great, they wind up having to um, you know deal with other issues and it doesn't always get used. Uh, the beautiful thing about this is is that by having someone come out from JFY Networks on a regular basis working directly with the teacher and with the students it ensures that that software is going to be used and that it's going to be used correctly and I think that makes all the difference in the world. Um, it's, it's like, you know, otherwise it's like giving somebody a car and, uh, and not giving them a license, not telling them how to utilize it. Uh, the, all, all that's going to happen to the car is it's going to collect dust. Uh, this software does not collect dust, it gets used on a daily basis and becomes an integral part of what we're doing here in our schools. I've been in education over 40 years and I have seen um, book series purchased as well as software, uh, learning kits that, um, you know, the principal will buy them or the teacher will ask that the principal buys them and they're purchased and uh, they come out of the box and uh, they go back into the box and uh, five or ten years later uh, I'll find it sitting on a shelf somewhere uh, and it's in like new condition because nobody took the time to show them how to use it and to stay with them and make sure that not only do they use it but they use it effectively and get them to grow with it because it's important that uh, the teacher grows with the software along with the students. Uh, you can't have one without the other. If the teacher is stagnant and doesn't know how to bring the students up to the next level, the software is not going to be anywhere near as effective as it will be if someone is there to keep moving them up to the higher, higher level. And that's the beautiful thing about JFY Networks. They ensure that that happens, they make sure that it happens. Once the teachers get to know the program, once they get to know Ryan, um, it clicks very quickly. Uh, it's far better than if they were out there working alone by themselves. One of my major complaints as an educator, uh, going back to my first teaching position, I started teaching elementary school uh, back in the late 1960s, is that teachers oftentimes work alone. Uh, it's a very lonely job. You go in your classroom with your 20 or 25 or sometimes 30 students, depending upon where you're teaching, what you're teaching, and the door closes. And, you know, out of those 180 school days, you're alone probably for 178 of them. The only time you see anybody in your classroom is when the principal comes around to evaluate you once or twice a year. And uh, that's helpful, but it's, it's not anywhere near as helpful as having someone who's coming in on a regular weekly basis, looking at what you're doing, and, and giving you the tips that you need to move to that next level. I can't stress that enough, is being able to move to the next level. Um, and that's the difference between going out and purchasing the software yourself which anybody can do versus having JFY Networks there to assist you in making sure that it's used properly and that it's being used to move everybody ahead, the teacher and the students. If you look at the number of, of uh, students getting degrees online, um, when I started off that was something that wasn't even discussed because it wasn't possible. Um, over the past 10 or 15 years it's just blossomed out. Um, and I've had students take online courses, including my own daughter, I might add, uh, who have told me that the work online is harder than the work in a classroom in a regular college. Um, so I think there's great potential there. Uh, online, you can have a much larger smorgasbord of courses, particularly when you get into the junior and the senior high schools. Um, high schools and junior high schools, middle schools, we're limited in what we can offer by the faculty that we have, the number of blocks or periods that that teacher can teach. And as a result of that, we have a far more limited curriculum, particularly in a small school district. We're a school district of just under 2,000 students. Uh, we're not a big city. 
In a big city, the city can offer things that we can't offer. Well, with online learning, by being able to bring kids in front of a computer with somebody who's gonna, gonna guide them and make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, the sky's the limit on the courses that we can offer. Uh, we presently offer, I believe it's seven AP courses, advanced placement courses at our high school. Uh, other students would like to take more than seven. I see this as a, a real big potential to bring those students who have super capability to be able to take courses that otherwise they would not be able to take out here in a semi-rural suburban environment. I'm an old special ed director also. After I taught, I became a school psychologist and became a special ed director in three different school systems. And there's no question getting these kids' attention, keeping them on task, is something that can be a, a challenge for the best of teachers. Um, online learning, computerized instruction, it's something that when most special ed kids rings a bell, it grabs their attention. You get them to be able to, to learn in a fashion that they couldn't learn in the past. Uh, it's really riveting to them. And they get also get instant reinforcement, uh, which isn't always possible in a classroom, whether we're talking a class of 25 regular education students or a resource room with six or eight or 10 students. Very difficult for one teacher to give every child positive reinforcement. But computerized learning can do that to every child that's working on that particular you know, module at that time. I, I've been very blessed to have JFY Networks in our schools. Um, we've had a great relationship with them. Um, it's something that uh, has allowed us to move forward a lot more quickly than we would have without them. Um, I also appreciate the fact that when we started off, uh, the state of Massachusetts uh, funded JFY Networks uh, very heavily. Unfortunately, during the current economic crisis that we're in, that funding has uh, all but dried up. Uh, I'm slightly optimistic that there is uh, going to be some money in the fiscal year 11 budget to uh, fund JFY Networks from the state. Uh, and uh, anybody that's watching this, if you uh, get a chance to your talk to your state senator or your state representative, because I've done it, let them know this is the wave of the future. And school districts on their own can't do it all on their own. Uh, we're paying right now modestly, a modest sum of money to JFY Networks for what they do. We're getting a lot of bang for our buck, but we could do so much more if the state is able to come and help. And I'm hoping that that's going to happen in the next year or two.